So in this video, I'm just going to show you how to use Vapi Squads. Now, what is Vapi Squads? Vapi Squads is a tool in Vapi that allows you to create different agents for different tasks. For example, like a human, one human is good at one task and another human is good at another task. Same thing with the AI. One AI could be very good at one task and then another AI could be very good at another task. So basically, what Vapi Squads is, it allows different AIs to work together. So let's say you train an AI that is very good at asking people questions, basically very good at qualifying. And then let's say you have another AI that is very good at an appointment setting. For example, let's say you have an outbound assistant that calls all of your leads to qualify them. Now, once they're all qualified by the qualifying assistant, it's going to send a task to the appointment setting assistant and it's going to make that appointment setting assistant book the call. Now why is this very important? Because as I said before, one AI might be good at one thing and another AI could be good at another thing. It can't be the best at every single task. So that's why uh, Vapi Squads exists, allowing you to make the best experience for your leads and clients. So let's get into it. So first thing that you're going to need to do is go to Vapi.ai. Once you're in Vapi.ai, go to assistance, make sure that you have all of the assistants that are built out for everything you need. So we don't have this type of assistance built out. So we're going to make an assistant, so create assistant. It's going to be an inbound uh, Q&A assistant. It's going to be Sarah. And then it's going to be Sarah Squad 1. What this means is this is going to be the first AI that's going to respond to the call. Okay? So we have Sarah 1, Squad 1, and then we're, we're going to create another assistant that's going to be employment setter and that's going to be sarah 2 and then we're also going to have a customer support that's going to be sarah 2 also why do we have two sarah 2s so the reason why we have this is because first uh, there's the first agent that of course always responds to the call and then depending on how the call goes if it's a customer calling for some customer support the second sarah squad will respond we're just going to label this Sarah Squad 2 customer support. So then this assistant will respond. Now, if they want to book an appointment, then this assistant will respond. And vice versa. If the agents are calling outbound, it's going to be like this. If they need some help with some stuff, customer support. If they don't, immediate appointment. So you're able to go to ChatGPT to uh, fix all of these scripts to how your business runs. But yeah, you're able to go and prompt engineer all of these scripts to exactly what your company needs. Now that we have the assistance, we're going to go to squads. We're going to click documentation real quick. And then basically this just shows you everything that squad does. It just tells you how to use squads, what squads are, all of that. You're able to read this by yourself. But yeah, let's go back. We're going to add the members to the squad. And then basically, this is how you build the squads, and this is how the squads are going to be made. So now, this basically shows that whenever someone comes in, they're going to get a response from Sarah Squad 1, and then after, they're going to get a response from Sarah 2, and, and then after, Sarah Squad 1 is going to decide which one it goes to, and if it's a customer support, it goes here. If it's not a customer support, it goes here. Very simple, and then, yeah. So that's the simplicity of building a squad, and you're, of course, able to add more assistance down here to make the best squad possible that's able to help your lead communication and client communication, leading to um, more sales done at your company or leading to a better and more loyal client. So going back to assistance, let's go down here. You're, of course, going to have to choose what models they're going to be running off of. So we're going to make a run off of 4.0 mini cluster because it's the same price as 3.5 and then we're going to choose a knowledge base basically how do you create a knowledge base it's very simple you go to files over here and then just add all of your knowledge base but going back to assistance go to squad one you choose the knowledge base so we're just going to put inbound calling for simpana llc over here click publish you're able to mess around with the temperature and max tokens transcriber we're going to use deepgram and nova too for the voice we're always going to go with 11 
Labs because Eleven Labs is the cheapest for the best voice possible. But if you want to pay a bit more money, go with Play HD. But it sometimes sounds too good to be a human, so that's why I'll just go with Eleven Labs. And then functions, you're able to create this end of call function. So basically, this means whenever the call ends, this will happen. So whenever the call ends, transcript is sent to make.com and then make.com will send that transcript to whatever CRM you use. Dial keypad is basically like whenever you call into a company, let's say it's a med spa and you wanna talk with a certain doctor, that's basically what the dial, dial keypad is. Dial this for this assistant, dial this for that assistant. And then if you wanna forward a number, just choose the country that you're in and then put the forwarding number over here. So if the agent doesn't know what to say, it's just gonna say, hey, I'm gonna transfer you to blah, blah, blah person, and then it's gonna do that. And then you're able to create custom functions down here. Go to advance, you're able to mess with the pipeline configuration. So silence timeout, this just means uh, when it's gonna end the call if the client doesn't communicate. It's able to be up to six minutes, but we're just gonna keep it down to 10 seconds. A response delay is gonna be very short. You don't wanna be too long. It could be long, but you don't want that to be way too long. LLM request delay, 0.1. Interruption threshold, two. This basically means how long it takes for the AI to stop talking when you interrupt it. So two words, we're gonna keep it at. A maximum duration of the call that it will last it depends on how much funding you have how much you want to spend for your calls and the nice thing is the ai won't know how long the calls can last so it won't just end the call like that it will make sure that it runs through everything before the call ends and it will let the prospect know that hey it can make up an excuse if you, if you tell it to or it will just let the prospect know hey, I have to end this call, or it's able to say, hey, someone else is calling me, I'm gonna end this call. It's able to do that. And then going to analysis, this just shows you're able to summarize the calls, enable success evaluation, just enable the success of the call. It will just send you an end of report on the success of the call. And yeah, so then you're able to click publish and then just do that for every single agent so that every single agent will sound the same. So whenever the other agent is talking, it wouldn't notice a difference. So yeah, going back to squads, that's basically how you create uh, squads. You're able to connect both of these squads. So then you're able to connect this to an end caller. So we're just gonna create an end caller over here. So basically once the call is finished on both sides, it will finish with the last caller, thanking the person for the call. And yeah, that's basically it. And that's how you uh, create a squad. Vapi is the only software that I know of that allows you to use AI at its fullest for AI dialing. And that's why I really recommend it. Now, yes, creating an AI with Vapi is a bit difficult, but once you got it down, it's indistinguishable from a human. So yeah, that's basically how you create a Vapi squad. I would say no other AI dialer has what Vapi has, allowing you to connect the best trained AIs that to other AIs that are trained in the best way possible from you. That's just my opinion, but this is just groundbreaking that you're able to make the best AIs and not just make one good AI, but make 10 different AIs that are good at different stuff and just connect them. I would say Fappy is the best AI to implement into your business or to implement into other people's businesses just because of how fast Vapi is advancing and what type of software they're building. That's basically Vapi. And if you're not able to implement this into your business or just don't have the time to implement this into your business, I, I would book a call at Timpano.com. That's where I can help you implement AI into your business. If you want any other help with Vapi, feel free to join my newsletter. If you want news about AI, feel free to sign up for my newsletter at emmanueltermier.com.